vacation's over. Back to work. Um, right now, I am removing the screws from this plaster repair that we did um, to see how it did. So let's check it out. So these are the screws that we put in. It's going to start unscrewing some of down. I think the worst one is going to be to try to get these washers on. Oops. Oops. Oh, damn it. All right. Well, see how some of these babies are doing. Oh, see that. Okay. So just from feeling it. Wow. This is going to work, guys. So this is really, uh, really kind of uh, a temporary fix, but I'm just trying to get this thing going. Now I'll go through here and smooth coat everything, make the walls look decent. Um, I think it's going to work for what I'm doing, so this is a good decision. There is a big bubble, this area here, a great big protruding um, bubble, so... Um, that bubble's not there anymore. It seems the screws are out of here. I just got to get those washers off. Uh, seems like it attached to some lath. So one thing that is good. Yay. Just a little collateral damage. So today, we t you know, we took out all the um, washers that we used to clamp the wall. Help attach the plaster to the lath. Um, it seemed to have worked pretty doggone good. There's no movement in these walls. Whereas before, you could feel the movement behind there. So, really glad that we... I'm a YouTuber. I've been YouTubing because I haven't worked with plaster before. And it's a different beast. Um, so, I went in there with some 90-minute joint compound, patched all the holes. Next, after this dries, I'm going to go do a, uh, a coat and put meshing over this wall. And uh, hopefully it will keep it nice and secure, even it out a little bit. It is all kinds of bumpy. So, it's not going to be perfect. I'm not looking for perfect. It's a hundred year old house, so let it have some of its natural beauty and that comes with some some flaws. Don't we all have some flaws as we get older? 